Welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, I will show you how to prefabricate and assemble a piping spool. This tutorial will be helpful for both experienced and trainee fitters. We are going to fabricate this part of the piping. In this part of the drawing, there are three spools. This joint is FFW, which means final fit weld. We will do the fit up and welding at site. The number of this spool is four. There are two items in this spool. Item number one and item number three. We know item number one is eight inch pipe and item number three is a 45 degree elbow. Let us confirm in the material list. As per the list, item number one is eight inch bevel end schedule 20 seamless pipe. Item number three is 45 degree long radius but weld schedule 20 elbow. As per the drawing, the pipe goes to the north and bend 45 degree to the down direction. Let us fabricate and complete the welding separately. You can fit up this spool in any position because the pipe is short, put it in the vertical position and put the gap rod and the elbow on the pipe. Tack weld on both sides of the joint. Hold two right angles as shown. If required, rotate the elbow gently to maintain the measurements equal. Tack weld on both sides and complete the welding. Check the details of the spool number three. We know item number one is pipe. Check what is item number four in the material list. As per the list, item number four is a 90 degree long radius elbow. Let us fabricate this spool. Put the pipe on stands and level it. Put the elbow and the gap rod. Correct the overlap and tack weld on both sides. Hold a scale on the top of the elbow and measure the distance. Tack weld on the top and bottom side of the joint. In spool number two, check what are the items five, six, and eight. We already know item number one is pipe. Item number 5 is, weld neck, raise face flange, the rating is 150 pound. Item number 6 is spiral wound gasket. 
And item number eight is stud bolts. Both these items are not relevant for prefabrication unless the pipe length is not affected. Since the length of the pipe is not too long, put it in a vertical position. Put the gap rod and the flange on the pipe. Correct one side and tack weld on opposite sides. Correct the other side and tack weld as shown. Put the spool 3 on its location and check the level of the pipe. Put spool number 2 in its position and level it. Correct the whole plumbness. And tack weld on the top and bottom side of the joint. Correct the squareness of the spools, as shown, and tack weld, on the sides of the joint. Rotate spool number 2 vertically, as shown, and level the pipe. This position will ease the fit up of the spool 4. Put the spool number 4 in its location, not vertically, but in a horizontal position. Correct the overlap and the gap, and tack weld at the top and bottom side of the joint. Correct the 45 degree, as done previously, and tack weld at the sides of the joint. Please check the description to download the drawing. Thank you for watching.